Hi, Riva. I hear a lot about tracing in Sumo Logic. I'm curious, what is it about? Hey, Millie. It's an important addition to the Sumo Logic platform. It's part of the observability solution. Tracing provides end to end visibility into user transactions across services. Let's see how. APM is an important aspect of observability that we cover now with these new capabilities. You mean application performance monitoring, right? Right. And the logs and metrics that we collect form the basis of observability? Yes. Traditionally, metrics have been used to provide classic monitoring, but it only looks for the known failure conditions of the application. Oh, okay. So Sumo can find unknown conditions then? Yes. Observability requires you to completely understand the application so that you can identify, troubleshoot, and fix any conditions, known or unknown, about the application and its health. And to gain insights from the collected data, just collecting and analyzing metrics and logs is not enough. It requires more than that. So how do we do it? Trace the transactions. Troubleshooting problems real-time in distributed, dynamic cloud, and microservice environments is very difficult. Transaction traces make this a lot easier by letting you see details about what exactly is happening and how it affects your users. Well, what are transaction traces? A transaction trace gives a detailed snapshot of a single transaction lifespan across your application environment. A trace follows the course of a user's request or system call from its source to its ultimate destination. You can use transaction tracing to profile and monitor microservice-based apps or architectures, locate failures, and improve performance. In fact, logs, metrics, and traces are the three pillars of the observability system. They're complementary to each other and need to be together in a single platform. Together they can offer more in a single product than in three separate products. We at Sumo Logic are doing a great job blending them together in a single UI. Got it. Can you give an example? Tracing tracks a transaction, such as a login or checkout request from a user, throughout an entire application. Let's take the coffee ordering app for example. Each of the transactions in the app generate an individual trace. Each trace not only explains how long did it take to complete, but also how these requests traveled through the application infrastructure and where the bottlenecks are. Each piece of the application, the front-end web server, the authentication service, and the checkout service are distinct microservices. And remember, microservice-based environments, like what you use with Docker or Kubernetes, tend to be very dynamic in their nature, so each time such a transaction happens, it can go via a different path. So with transaction tracing in a distributed architecture, you can see the entire journey your requests take as they travel through distributed systems? Yes. Let's go back to our coffee ordering app. Though selling coffee internationally sounds like a straightforward process, there are many steps within that transaction. Each step is essentially a microservice, and all of the steps add up to one ideally completed coffee transaction. Millions of them, every minute of the day. Tracing gives us the ability to monitor the transaction from purchase to handoff to the customer, and to look at each step or microservice to see if there are any bumps along the way that could prevent a successful conclusion. The errors are identified by those services that have a red horizontal line. Wow, it looks like a really powerful feature. No wonder everyone wants to talk about tracing. There are many reasons why tracing is in demand. You can use transaction traces to troubleshoot performance issues and get detailed low-level insight into how your app is working. Tracing helps you to observe apps and microservices at the level of individual requests to pinpoint issues with particular microservices. Great. Thanks, Riva. This is so helpful. Sure, Millie. I am glad you find this helpful.